Okay, good morning, everyone. This is Michael Venezia, head trader at TradeView Markets, a little after 11 Eastern on a Wednesday, a busy day. Every day is a busy day. Started off this morning uh, with the pound and the dollar after ECB made a move, making a, a huge move. I don't know. I'm not sure really of the range, but definitely carried over uh, to our indices in the majority of the commodities, if you will, is Apple uh you pre-announced, if you will. It's the only stock. It's down five dollars. Everybody, every other stock is up precipitously. All right. So before I log in, you know what I mean? There is the VIX is still elevated. And the one thing that I've been pontificating about is, you know, it's redundant and it's been is just to, you know, to, to not take a lot of overnights because if you're on the wrong side, then you have to trade very well if you actually trade well at all just to, you know, to get those type of moves back. You know, if you're on the good, if you're on the right side of it, bravo, well done. You know, that's more gambling for me is one thing that I never, ever do is I'm not, I'm not usually a, uh, like an indices trader. I don't like trading the indices. Excuse me. I th I personally think, if, you know, if you want to trade something against the move of your stocks, absolutely no problem. But I'll never forget, I was sitting there one day and, you know, as I'm going back, probably 15, 17 years ago. And one of the most disciplined traders I ever sat next to, Neil, uh, he had, you know, we sat four people, four people across the desk and it was just me on one, on, on, it was just him and I on one side. I had like as much as for a couple of computers and he had the old, the, you know, the whole other side of, of my desk, four other guys on the other side. And the market's freaking flying, ripping. And he sat to the right of me and I sat here and I'm flying away. And I look at him like, you know, Neil, why don't you do something? And he's like, you know, I don't, you know, playing the market is really like flipping a coin. If I would like to play another instrument against that, fine. But, you know, the market being the oil, the engine of the, of, or the ES, you know, the futures, if you will, you know, it's just pure, you know, if I want to place, listen, I'm not shy. If I'm going to play something and it's going up, you know, the futures go up, you know, 40 handles and Apple's still down $5.46. Although yes, the trade might be over, but it's something to look to in terms of you know in relative uh, relative weakness or relative strength. Conversely, so I don't really play a lot of the indices. Pardon me, the indices are moving a lot. And you know what? Just like I, I will sign into Trade Gate up here, and because we'll go. By the way, I sign in just the same as everybody else. And by a note, side note, a starting uh, tomorrow being Thursday, Coach and I are going to start doing another video at eleven Eastern. The video that Coach and I do normally once a week is at 11 Eastern on Tuesday, but back by more demand, uh, we're going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11, uh, and we'll go from there. So thanks for tuning in and making us, you know, make it have the demand. I know it's relative, but we're doing it. So I'll see you back tomorrow at 11. All right, so let me sign to the Trade Gate, Trade Gate Hub. Uh, I log in just the same as everybody else. There's no secrets here. No, there should be. I don't know why you're apologizing, but it is. Hi, Mike. Hi, Coach. Okay. <clears throat> so listen, getting to where the VIX is, it's a day-by-day -day basis, really. Uh, the reason why, there are major reasons why the market moved today. And I'll give you one example. Oh, you know what? I'll give you an example. Apple pre-announced, and Apple, here's the, you know, I'll go down to the charts now and just give you an example, and maybe it'll let it fly back and, and go into uh, the hard data. Here's Apple's chart. Okay, if you told me Apple was down five dollars, considering where the market has been, this is where the market was been before today. And Apple pre-announced, if you will, it's down five dollars and it's pinned near the low. So if you told me Apple was down five dollars, and then I would see this right here. And then you told me this. Let me share my other screen. Here's my screen right here. The spies. Microsoft's up to there's Apple down five. But if you told me Apple is down five and the VIX would be negative and even something like the UUP resting a tad and TTD, Netflix, Amazon, Google, for example, you know, they tried to pin that to 96 and it's a good turnaround from 96 to 99. So as I said in the morning, if you told me, and this was early on before the market rallied, you know, I was along at, you know, a lot of shares of Western Digital. Unfortunately, you know, I sold the actually sold Western Digital near the hot. So if you told me this morning that Western Digital at one point would have been up two and a half percent as of like 945, 
as of Apple was down, what was it down? Three and a half percent. It was down $6 at one point. So here's my chart on Western Digital. I took a flyer. And this is the reason why I'm not holding on to it is because I felt like it capitulated. MU yesterday finished positive in a weak tape. STX was actually up a dollar yesterday in a weak tape. So I took a chance at Western Digital. Just um, it's not really the stock, it's my thinking. So as Western Digital, I believe I'm going to, you know, as I'm sitting in bed, I'm going to say, do I want to add to Western Digital or keep averaging down? To, not keep averaging down, I was actually up in the stock. As you can see, I made money in into a stock that's breaking a new yearly low with the Apple bad news. But it turns out that Western Digital, this is the even, this this uh, dotted line here, break line, whatever you call it, 3270s, open is uh, unchanged. So Western Digital this morning came down and flushed everybody out on a print. I love the volume on the print at 3254. I turn around the stock's what, 3350. So I'm up in the position. So I'm selling it a little bit. I'm selling the 33.16. I bought a little bit back with saying. So I'm out of the majority of the stock at what? 33.30. Right now it's 33.10, whatever. A good trade. But you know what? Some stocks that I took profits on, you know, gapped up, you know, big. Like Yeti was a big gap up. Uh, MQ, I was selling nicely into it. I think the majority of MQ I sold was at 7.10. It went to 7.24. You can't get to the top and the bottom. But Newmont, we talked about with Coach yesterday, now on the three drive. You know, so what I'm saying is going back to here, the way the market's been and the way that the, do the currency, the dollar against the, do the pound dollar had to move this morning. It will, and I'm sure Coach, you know, approached on that at the 930 video an hour, an hour and you know, a half ago. Uh, I would take it. Now, is that a chance of short term? Is that a, a sign that the market's bottom? I'm not, I'm not really sure. The market did absorb in very in dramatic oversold conditions. A couple of reasons to, for, for bad news or the, or the markets to be, you know, to be pinned down here. As Lewis brought up in the room, I wasn't really looking for, uh, as I said, and I was right to that point, you know, you know, I don't expect the kind, and this is what an hour ago, I don't expect the kind of a reversal we had yesterday, at least for now. It, it would be too easy on the shorts. So it goes back to what I was saying this morning. And coach gave me a prop, and I appreciate that. Props is this. We're having so much data here. I'm I'm having trouble going back to all the uh, to all the data we post, but it's this: the end. These are the new indices: the UUP, the VIX, TLT, Apple. The best, you know, it's a gauge. Uh, JP Morgan. I probably should have thrown Exxon or Chevron and GLD. You have a tech. You have a bank. A major oil basically acts as a bank, and you have the VIX, the bonds, and the dollar. So you know, it's not really you know. Does it really matter? Google is not a a gauge of the market anymore at this level. What's Google going to do right here? You know, it's like I said, it's one day away. And just like Baba and even JD worked and LI worked. They're one day away from having, you know, they're one day away from, from, you know, the losses getting exacerbated or people getting stopped out trying to pick the bottom. Uh, never do it on, you know, on high leverage, by the way, on any type of leverage. And then OX had moved, but there's movements and there's been plenty of movement. SPXL, you know, it's got to do some back and resting if you want to put it. Chevron, somebody asked me about the oils coming, coming up today. I'm looking to fade a little bit of oils into the 200 day. You know, as we approach two days left into the month, Wednesday, Friday being the end, there is a little bit of window dressing. You know what I mean? I don't think everybody's going to be running within the next couple of days to, you know, to put Chevron back on the books here. You know what I mean? But, you know, maybe it's, it's a good sign that people are starting to step in with reason. And there's a reason for the market, you know, th at least there's a reason, if, if, you know, just just not waiting for any Fed speaker or the next shoe to drop in a, in a, in a currency and or, or, and or the bond market. The Apple news, like I said, is down five and it's a good reason for stocks to bounce. After lunch, I'll do my volume and I'll look at my own queries here. But this is a, at least a short term positivity and at the very least for for uh, for trading. Labu was one of our good trades that was up 11 percent today because Biogen. We got a little lucky. Biogen was up huge, and that's a big component of that. Uh, Roblox, what else? What other stocks are we looking at? Where am I on my screen? Here? I look at the screen, I automatically go. Okay, so let's go to uh, what's going on. And by the way, this being Wednesday, again, I repeat, go back to our YouTube channel. Coach, I, Coach and I did the Monday, Tuesday, this being Wednesday. 
uh, go back through all the videos on the week and you can get not only what we were talking about, which was turned out to be right. By the way, we weren't splitting the atom. Everybody knew it was oversold. You just had to be, you know, you were going to be wrong before you're right in this. People are still underwater to a degree. I am in some stocks too. Don't get me wrong. This is not a, a Pat Mike, B on the, uh, Mike V on the back situation by any means. But going back to our videos Monday and Tuesday, or even going back months now, almost, you know, going back to it, even, you know, over a year, get back to, you know, what we said this week, because it's never in, it's a story going back Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays with the video. At least I try to make that a little bit short story that trickles out during the week. But if not, you get to get to get a feel of, of, of what we do and what value we could bring. So as I was saying in Trade Gate Hub this morning, this is where we came in. All right. Uh, everything settled. Lewis is on top of things, has been on top of things, but nothing will settle for some time. So know your style, you know, just continue the flow. Uh, Bottom bottom equity side, see in how Apple reacts if this washes out or that keeps the rest of the stocks pinned down. So far, Apple is in a, is just it's only it's one of the only few red stocks on my screen to be honest, which I didn't think I would say that as 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 opposed to Sava and a couple of high flyers, but that was something to watch. You know what I mean? If 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 it, with the market at these very oversold levels, and believe me, it could have kept cascading. Uh, is certainly a short-term sign a sign of relief. Once again, keeping in mind the VIX, UUP, TLT, GLD up nicely, Coach Bravo on the NEM. Okay, so this is what I actually said. Morgan Stanley questioning the credibility of reports. So is Apple lying to buy the NASDAQ cheap? Certainly it came to be looking, it could look that way on being dramatic. All right, keeping in mind, this is the worst September since 2008. I think we're down 31% for the year in the NAS year to year, year to year or year to date. Just a heads up, that was just something I use. It's a gauge. What's happening now? Always watch that data, extreme fear, options, hedge funds. You know what? I wouldn't be shorting right now. I'd be, I mean, I would be waiting for a little bit more of a pop. I certainly wouldn't be comfortable right here. Uh, daily sentiment was right here. We opened down this morning because of the Apple news and somebody stepped up and said enough is enough. So they drove the board a little bit higher. Great trade on the euro, naturally. And I'll go back to Coach's 930 video again. Goldman, Goldman Sachs, well, do, you know, blow this up on your own time. Joba, that's for you, the wave. Weekly advisor sentiment, getting there. Bottom line, see how Apple reacts. Oh, I said that already. I actually, uh, I actually put that again. To, to, then I put the Apple story of why. MU, what a close. And I put that 19 hours ago, MU, what a close. I posted. So then Kramer posted this morning, strange action. And today shrugged off everything. Even Micron went up. You know what? We're on top of it. We should be. But I'm just giving an example of when MU, you know, maybe something leaked out there. Upgrades, downgrades, we always give it to you. Uh, new indices. We gave you the economic calendar, upgrade, uh, movers up and before in the morning. And then uh, and what a fraud. I know the stock, Oxy, long-term, Mosaic, that's a weekly. Don't get dailies confused. This is a daily. Don't get it confused with weeklies. Lift. This was a, 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 an example right here. Lift was down 3.2% in the market, uh, pre-market. And about just before I came on the air, an example of what's going on again is how stocks are, are receiving news is this. Where is it? You know, you got to read between the lines. That Lift took that news well. Where's Lift now? L-Y-F-T. Lift is up 30 cents. It's not a barn burner, but this is the, uh, the range on Lift. They did the flush. They got out all everybody, everybody that was scared. This is Lyft's chart. They said 1409 to 1372 on volume. Let's get everybody out that's trying to pick it. They rallied it up and now it's sitting positive. I'm not saying I'm buying it, but Uber's Uber's positive. There's a lot of calls going up on Uber. And then the line in the sand on the chart, you know, certainly it looks like a binary new move one or the other. I'm not touching it, but there are a lot of calls going off. Next. All right, Lyft. SPX blue line in the sand holds. Thank you. Lewis is a cheerleader. Thank you for the new chart. Apple News may just be capitulation. Crude oil is moving up nicely. Oils, I'm looking to maybe short a little bit into a run up. I'm not going to lie. And I'll, I, you know, I'm not going to, well, okay, this is, and when I say that out loud, this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at oil charts. I'm not looking to short Oxy because it's been strong. I posted the weekly on there. I wouldn't be looking to short Exxon above the 200 day. Chevron, maybe. Schlumberger, maybe. EOG, definitely. Devon Energy, maybe. Overowned. What's that CPE? CPE. Look, let's get the XLE in general. 
Maybe I'll short it there. Maybe another pop up into the window dressing. I'm not saying it's going to go back and it's entering the next stage of the bear market, but it's moved up from 68 to 72. If I think the market's going the other way, the rotation's acting properly, I'll, I'll put a little trade. I don't think it's going to go back to zero. I'm trading here. That's what we do. Something's going up nicely. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. BGFV going up nicely. Giddy up. All right. Hi, Mike. Long trade and planet here. All right. So that's what we're giving to you. So let's look at the wise guys are doing. And that's most important. Right. I go by option flow. I'm not, you know, I go with, you know, I go where I follow big money, CTA position tracker. This is very interesting. And I'm going to leave it off here. And I'm only joking because every time I said that, I keep talking. Here are the CTAs on the ESP minis. As, as the ESP, ESP minis go lower, they're also still short. So we can correlate this here. Every time the, the, the SP got right up here, and they were a little, you know what, maybe they're a little more, they, they covered a little bit more of their shorts, but they're still aren't under position. Same in the NASDAQ. So keep that in mind. Okay, flow on Jesus. Okay. Google bullish, ALT bullish, plug bullish. And by the way, I like, you know, the last week I was getting updates on bullish positioning like every 15 minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, seven, 10, 12. KCG, gold bullish, DNA bullish, Vodafone, another one. I mentioned that G money, didn't I? You know, the Vodafone, and here's the chart. Of, I saw the calls going off on Vodafone all week. That might be a hedge. It's not really my style, but there's the chart on Vode. You know, it goes with the European index. It's a snail. I'm not in it, but note the calls are going off. Spy bullish, Q's bullish. Here we go, update. Some weekly squeeze activity mixed in with disaster insurance and many of the mega caps. So they're going into weekly short term. I'd like to see them to go out to monthlies to really have some, you know, uh, a concrete feel in the market, but I'll take it. So uh, backdrop right for squeeze today. Sweepers don't seem that excited though. All right. So yields, uh, TLT, the dollar, UUP and credit conditions, just as important as anything else to keep tabs on today, the new indices. Greater focus is in on play, no doubt, but we're nice as sweepers. We get more aggressive. So they're going into weeklies. I would like them to go into, you know, into monthlies. Fitch bullish. There's a squeeze stock. MU bearish. It's down on the day. Don't get stubborn in a down market. Anti-VIX update. GLD bullish. AMD bearish. So they're going into WM, PDD, JP Morgan, squeak, squeeze activities and weekly. I'm not surprised. Futures are ripping. Futures are breaking high today. Look at this. PTT, PayPal, Apple. Going with the futures now. Microsoft, where's our Western Dig? All right, Western Dig. I should have bought it back at 33. Still not the high risk. So a label going higher in the day. Am I going on here? So let's go up here. I'm thinking out loud. I'll go to this. Uh, uh, stock scan. Very simple. New highs. New share, am I on this thing? New highs on the day. It's all that matters. Time, ASO, American Sports Academy, work day, <clears throat> riot. All right, CDE, everything's moving up now. Let's go to uh, breakout, up high in relative volume is really all the gold, the Bible. Relative volume up high, BIF, I'm not in it. Lily had news, RPRX, NOV, a driller. I like to see that. BTU is up strong. Had calls yesterday, if you remember. Let's go to time. PACB, Netflix, we're in that. Disney, we're in that. AXP, they got the financials, the, the FAS, Bed Bath & Beyond. All right, so they got some, uh, where's the FAS? I didn't have the guts to do it. I couldn't do it. I've been wrong. How can you do the FAS? How can you do the FAS into this chart except that it capitulated? with all that volume on the bottom, just like here with all volume, just like here with volume, just like with here with volume, but it's tough. You know what I mean? That type of toughest trade, futures ripping. What's going on here? Twilo strong, AMD. AMD going through back yesterday's high. It does giddy up. AMD's yesterday is 68. There's the long term. Maybe it goes to 70 on a bounce for expiration. A lot of supply overhead. Coin, XBI, BABA. Something's going up. Run, Western Dig. NVAX is my dog. His barn is down. ALT had calls. Any questions? Live trading at Mike V. 
Okay, let's move with what's moving up now. Move most that moving up now. We're interested in ripping SPG, Senex, KKR, Senex, Ring. That Ring Central is very cheap and has a good valuation. That Ring Central. I'm looking at Ring Central. I can't even tell. Look at this thing. Ring Central, September, a year ago, 270, today, 42. Ring Central. Have any volume? That's what Mickey Hahn would say, my mentor. Is that any volume? Might have gotten washed out yesterday, but that's going to take a while. GDXJ, FCX reverse nicely. So you know what? It's not a shorting. Just like I said, it's not a day that I thought it would be like yesterday. So new highs, breakout on the day. Breakout range really is more important. What's I mean, you know, stocks have been volatile daily, but what's been breaking out in the range? DNA. There's only one in America buying that thing at $3. I don't want that thing. Sienna, Twitter, told you keep your eye on it. Sneaky. a &F, they're squeezing a couple of retailers because we got PGVV, whatever that thing is. CCS, Apron, Skin, BTU, Dick Sporting Goods Stores, TSP. That can squeeze TSP. Nope. Roblox, we're in that. Roblox, you know why we're, see that Roblox acting well today? Where do we go in here? I'm going to keep talking so the market's going up as I'm talking. Roblox, as we approach 1120 Eastern. Roblox, Roblox, Roblox. Where's my sign on on the morning? Here we are today. So this means yesterday. MU with a close. VIX coming in. Roblox, okay. That was one of my last posts 23 hours ago. Roblox, where are we now? No man's land. VIX, where are we now? VIX daily. Let's look at the VIX six days. VIX, now you broke a downtrend on the VIX bullish. Where's UNG? Where's UUP? Not doing anything yet, but UUP not doing anything. Where's the TLT? TLT, did Lewis have that yesterday on the low? I think Lewis bought that at 101 yesterday. He told me. TLT, a good sign reversing. All right. All good, guys? Because I got to get back and get in there. Twitter, Twitter now over the 200 day. Be careful on the Twitter. Pins held in there too. Something's going on. NVAX, you rat bastard. MQ. All right, Western Dig is not higher. Run, a laggard, Fizzler, SPWR, ON, Tesla, reversing nicely. Am I looking at charts? Am I going overboard? Somebody pulled the hook on me. I'm talking out loud now. Long term on Tesla. XPEV can't get off the lows. Nice sale, Lewis. LI, Long Island, still off the lows. XBI, what's the line in the sand there? Two-day move, 76 to 80. And then Wayfair, we're in that. ENVX, RRC. ENVX is a good, uh, one of these cool, cool uh, lithium plays. Slob, I'm going to short an oil out here, I think. Here. Where's the XLE? XLE for mid-afternoon, a, a late, late morning fade, XLE. Let's go to the five minute chart as Lewis would ask me. XLE, I need more. Yeah, it's not sexy enough. Well, good guys, I'll leave it at there. Wise guys leaving off is why. Share. You got action here. The DAX. My boy bought the DAX, a niner. DAX, you might want to take some off. It's got a little up, upside pressure here, the DAX. Vodafone, more bullish. Google calls are going in again. The Google calls I was giving off, when was that bazooka? He's still down in there. What was the stock? Uh, the DAX, SNY is what I was looking at. Fantastic. Run, we're up and run now. Somehow we're up and run. I don't know how that happened. Zillow, you suck. Noggin, dog. All right, you know what it is? Futures. Yesterday's high of the futures of what? 372 when I was selling, right? Yesterday's high, they're not even close to them. This, they got to get about 370, the bottom line. NVAX breaking lower in the rally. So what do I do? I sell it? The answer is no, but I don't have that much. It doesn't even, you know what? That shouldn't come into the equation how much I have, but you know what I mean? I think it capitulated yesterday with that volume. So I'll leave it there, uh, fans. 
Okay. So uh, I'm going to go back and watch Coach's 930 video. Remember the, the video that's posted. Coach and I will be on tomorrow at 11. There's a lot going on here. The new indices, the VIX, uh, TLT, UUP, and uh, obviously watch Apple. Watch how Microsoft that's acted too, because Microsoft was pinned down for a while with with uh, with Apple. Square going up nicely again. So it's yet to be listen. It's yet to be determined if it's a short covering rally or, or any type of stable bottom. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of uncertainty out there, and you know the dollar and the bonds are leading the equity markets. Still keep that in mind, okay? So trade well, have a plan, and we'll see you uh, after lunch, my Eastern time, okay? Cheers. Thank you again.